Hey friend, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to save about $150 a month. And it's, uh, oh my goodness, look at my hostas blooming back there. Didn't even realize it. But yeah, this $150 savings a month is something we cut it out and barely miss it. We barely even notice it's not there. I save big money on entertainment. Now that we have digital everything, you can just buy these $20 antennas. Instead of where the cable plugs in on the back of the TV, you just plug it in right there. It picks up my local channels, which we have about four. It also picks up the public television station, a couple of other ones that just play old shows, you know, reruns. I get everything else that I want on YouTube. I just look it up there. I don't have a whole lot of time remaining in the day, so I do not need um, expensive cable TV. And that could be a savings of around $100 a month. I know some people that pay about $150 because they have all those additional, um, you know, stars or HBO or Cinemax. I got this little antenna and I'm going to show you right here. Walmart has several to choose from, but I'm only going to be looking at these two indoor models. This one's $17.88, the other's $24.88. It was about closer to $20 when we bought it, but we've had it about five years. It works great. This is it right here. Meanwhile, back on the ranch, I have my TV on. It's plugged in. You see the power cord down there. And again, we're just moving in. I haven't got this furniture situated yet, so that couch is kind of positioned against the wall. But here's our antenna. You can see the dust on it. We've been using it for years. It's got the cable back there and the electric plug. It has that little um, leg that bends out, like a little tripod leg. And I'm just going to put it over here on the mantle and begin hooking it up uh, to the back of the TV. I'll show you the hole where it goes in. Right here where it says ant in. Of course, it's not for ants to go in. It's an antenna in. And that was supposed to be funny. Uh, okay, so I'll just stick it in there and you will hear it begin right away to get a connection. That's simple. Well, there you see it, hon. It picks up just like as if it were cable TV. Another way to save money is I go around the house and I see what electrical appliances I can unplug. Because a lot of electrical appliances are still consuming energy even when they're turned off. They have those little ready lights or whatever they call them that stay on 24 hours a day. So if I can unplug it, you know, without having to reset a clock or say something like that, then I just go ahead and unplug it. My electric bill is pretty low and that's just one of the ways that I save on electricity. I was looking at this uh, antenna and I decided I would unplug it and see how well it worked. Well. The thing does not even need electricity. I don't know why they put that on there because I unplugged it and it still receives all the same channels as it does when it's plugged into the wall. So I took the electrical plug out and I'll show you that right here. Everything's all plugged in and it's working. And let's just unplug the electricity just for an experiment. You can unplug your electricity in. What? Electricity. Well, I'm just yeah. checking to see if I really need the electricity. And look at that. That little antenna is still doing the job. And that's it. So, cheese? Did you say cheese? Yeah. <laughs> and there's a little pirouette for you. I'm going to take it one step further and try to hide the antenna behind the TV. Um, let's just see if I can... Instead of standing it up here on the mantle, um, well, so we don't need this electrical plug back here anymore because it's working without it. And I'm going to bend this little tripod leg kind of thing down and then pull this out real gently, really carefully, and see if I can mount this back here. That's all I did. I didn't use any tape. So, yeah, I can use tape if I need to, but I think it's going to work. Look at that. Now I don't have that antenna sitting on the mantle anymore, 
just the remote control and the TV is still working fine. Now you can still see like the little antenna, like bunny ears sticking up, but I guess I can twist that around a little bit. Next thing I'm gonna do, you can see the antenna? Yeah, back on the TV. Okay, but the next thing I'm gonna do, because I tend to like to have things tidy, I'm gonna take those wires and try to bunch them up with this little piece of Velcro. Ooh, it's rather warm out here today. But hey, other ways that I save uh, are turning off lights when I walk out of the room. I know that sounds kind of simple, but a lot of people may, may not know that. I've been to many friends' houses that uh, they just leave the lights on in every room all day. <laughs> um, what I do uh, is I turn off the light every time I go out of the room, but also if I want to have a light on, let's say it's like a really cloudy, um, stormy day, then I turn on a lamp just sitting you know, on a table instead of having the overhead bright lights on. So that's another way that I save on electricity. And here's another old school. I know everything is so electronic now and we're all using this uh, digital media, sending text and all that. But, um, you know, I was born in the 50s, so I grew up in a different era. Here is what I'm doing out here on my patio as I'm getting a little bit of sun for my health. I'm also gonna be sending a thank you note because people like to get um, like a physical card in the mail and it only costs whatever it is like 50 cents or something to mail it and uh, it's so much nicer than a text message. I know when I get a physical card in the mail I usually open it up and just set it on my um, in the kitchen where I can see it you know or my bedside table wherever I'm gonna see it a lot. Little note. I encourage you to send some out to uh, some people that you haven't seen or spoken to in a long time and just send a word of encouragement and love. It takes only a few minutes or you can write a big long letter if you want to. Let me just write this thank you note because a sweet sister of mine sent me some flowers when she heard that I was uh, in the hospital that day that we thought I was having a heart attack. But she sent me some flowers, and I just want to send her this uh, little thank you note. Well, I got it a little bit long, but uh, because even though I'm an introvert, as you learned from my last video, probably, <laughs> um, I guess I can't get down here with the... Yeah, even though I'm an introvert, when it comes to the written word, I can probably write and type what's in my heart a lot more comfortably but so uh, I might get carried away a little bit with uh, writing and typing love you see you soon bye bye as easy as this guys you send a little word of encouragement to your friend your parent grandparent your family your child your grandchild even your neighbor. It's so fun to get little cards in the mail. Well, love, that's all I have for you in this video. Until we meet again, God loves you dearly. Bye-bye.